Okay, so, as I said in the last part, I did some work with the Hadfield and Glossop trains, and I've done a little bit of other work, but I think we need to do something even more crazy. Welcome back to NIMBY Rails. Yes, hello boys, girls, and all of between my name is Michaela, and welcome back to NIMBY Rails, and in today's episode, I'm just going to quickly update you on what I've done off-camera, and then explain where we're going to have some issues here. So, you can see I've taken out these signals at Piccadilly, there were some issues where trains were just getting stuck behind each other, um, so that's gone. Um, you'll see here that there's another, there's quite a few trains down this branch line now, and it's kind of working. I mean, I've had to add an extra platform at Dinting here, but... Despite all this, we still have a massive overcrowding issue for that branch because I have 1,000 passengers waiting to go to Dinting. So I'm not really too sure how to address that. Um, they're all sort of getting stuck at each station because of that. So we definitely need longer trains. Now, I don't know how long these stations were, but if we just run these four car, this four-car train into there, we can at least see... This is a four-car yeah, four one. Let's just see what we can fit in train-wise. Because I also remembered... Or, I guess, forgot when I made these. Yes, yeah, so we could fit a lot longer trains on these stations. And I remember now that these are electrics in real life, aren't they? Because these are like 323s three, three, and 331s. Three, three, so I think what we're going to do now is quickly just replace our fleet with some... Six, well, we're going to do one for now and see how that goes. So let's replace this train. 118 and uh, 121. Replace this with uh, a 323 three, or a 331. Three, should we go 323? Three, three? We'll do 323, three, three, I think. Uh, wherever they are. They are in here somewhere. I think. I'm sure I have a free two free downloaded. Hmm. It's a bit weird. We want to find it. There it is. Free two free. We don't actually have a livery for it. It's not the best unit quality in the world. We've got any others? Because oh, it's a little annoying that it's not the best, or the highest quality one. Um. No. No. Not really, do we? Let's just have a quick check. Um, no, it's got the free free one and three one nine there. Bit of a shame we haven't got like a better free two three. But um, yeah, no one really makes mods for these games this game anymore either, which is a bit of a shame. Um, okay, well what we'll do for now then we'll we'll stick with that. We'll do this. We'll have a six car three two three. It says use line color. I don't think that's actually going to look too good, but it's okay. We'll do that now. Um, replace existing trains replace and then this will become three two three two two I don't know what what are the um yeah two two nine and three two three two three two there we go because two three two is one of my I think the funniest one to pronounce. So now if we do that that will reappear somewhere. Somewhere I don't know where it will reappear now. Bear with where are you? There. Just quickly um Auto scroll following train position. Let's just see if that fits into our stations now. Yeah, so that just about fits into the state. In fact, then no, it fits in perfectly. So we could do six car trains down this way then. I'm just making sure. I mean, to be fair, if it doesn't fit into some stations, then we could have that in real life. It would say, like, board. Yeah, like, for example, it doesn't fit into Godly because Godly's the shorter station. But that's fine because it could be that you have to board the front three carriages for Godly or something. Um, but they fit everywhere else. Or we could just rebuild Godly, to be fair. I mean, it's not like there's not enough space. Maybe we should do that. Maybe we should rebuild that station. Because I know it's quite small in real life, but we could rebuild that. So we'll consider that. But let's just um, quickly replace those then. So trains, um, Hatfield ones. <coughs> replace that with these then. Where are they? I've just lost them. Three, two, three. Down here somewhere. Yep, there we go. And this can be... I don't think... I think, I think if I don't replace the number after. So this will be three, two, three. Two three zero and three two three two two six for that one. Replace this one with that. If I do this here, does it work? Three two three two three 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 two two seven. Replace existing trains. No, that doesn't work. Didn't think so. Cool. So we're just going to replace... Oh, that's a Glossop one. That can be... Actually, what the Glossops can be is 319s. Just find the 319 again. I've lost it now. The 769 as well. 
I know in real life those have been basically withdrawn because they're useless, but we could potentially utilize those. Replace existing trains. Uh, 3194. Uh, 373. I don't know what 319 we have. I know we got one. Where are they? They're on the uh, airport line, right? Gloss 366, 368, that was it. Um, yeah, right, that's fine, so. That's fine, we'll do that. And then the decal on that, we need the northern one there. I don't know if I've set that right on the other one then, because that looks like northern there, doesn't it? That's definitely northern that, or, or at least a, a recreation of it. What are these on? Are these the right ones? Yeah, they are. Good, okay, so that's that. Um, well, there's another Hadfield there, you're a Hadfield. Replace um, 323. Hydroflex? Wait, there's a Hydroflex in this game? And then I'll explain what I did with the timetable in a minute. I just saw that then. Where's the Hydroflex? Oh, they have got a 799. Interesting, we could potentially utilize them at some point. Okay, uh, free, what, 323, good. Um, place existing trains. 323228 and 323229, because I don't think we have 229. Oh, we do have 229. 231 then. I can't remember the northern units. To be fair, we could use all the 323s because they are all coming up to northern. Um, I know this is also, we're, we're doing this not too 100% realistic fleet. So we could even do that. So we could do that 323, 211, and 323, 323, 223. Like that. Cool. And uh, one more Hadfield one. Uh, replace trains. Um, so you can see that there's a lot more units per service. I'm hoping doing both of these. We may even be able to drop it down slightly, but. We'll see this how this goes for now. Three two three two ten. Three two three two one seven or six. Six is what I typed, so we're going with six. Right, so that's the Hadfields done, and then just the Glossops replace train with a three one nine, which back up here again. Somewhere, three one nine. There we go. Replace existing trains. Three one nine. Three seven one, and we'll do three seventy. I think just to have like similar numbers. Replace. Um, 319, 370. There we go. I think that works. Cool. So they will just now reappear, and then we should see, hopefully, the passenger numbers drop down. So they'll reappear. There we go. These are quite close together, but that is just because I think one's delayed. So now let's see how many passengers for Dinting are waiting here, because there should be a lot more train space for them. Oh, that's interesting. They're saying unknown now. Oh, there you go. 1089 are still waiting. But. Is this one running late? What is that one? Why does that look... Oh, there you go. Is this one running late or something? Um, arrives in... These are pretty close together. I don't remember them being so close together. Oh, estimated late on that one. Okay. And then Piccadilly, I've still got 1,089. Why are they still waiting? Or do we have to wait for this train to get back? I do have to address some signalling issues as well, but we'll come back to that in a moment. Um... I'll just explain what I've done shortly. Let me just see how this goes. So, are you going to fill up? No. Why won't you fill up? What's going on here? Because you're not even... You are full. Oh, my word. Do I have to just go to... Let's go to tomorrow and see what happens. Hang on. Let's skip to the next day. This is where it's going to be interesting. Because whenever I do this... I've been doing this off-camera. It breaks the depot. So, let's just see if it finally worked. Yeah. Because I'm going to explain what I've done in a minute. Oh. What's this here? Is there no small space alongside? There is. Why aren't you working? Oh, it's because some of these signals are disappearing. Very weird. Or oh, I didn't set this up, one of the two. So, you're there, and then your secondary platforms are there, and there. And then just reset that train, because it will just sit there otherwise and block the line. So, yeah, uh, while we're doing this, I'll explain that I have obviously extended Ardwick TMD quite extensively. As you can see, there's quite a lot of extra sidings now. These ones are quite long. I don't know if I need them to be that long. I could potentially drop the platform back a bit. Um, but I decided to do that just in case for now. So we have, uh, obviously, the Manchester Airport ones are waiting in this bit. The crew ones up here and our new Ardwick uh, dinting ones. So the new dinting ones are down here. I'm giving them extra tracks just to be sure, so they've definitely got enough tracks. As you can see, there's still a couple of them out, for example, so... Um, quite important, that. So, in theory, so this one will come back, and then we should have a near enough full depot, but there is still the airport one here, the Wilmslow one, which is still running. Um, it runs quite 
late that one slow service if I remember rightly this is the last one it's on now yeah there you go and so as you see here now there is one more track free for a crew train which uh, I think is not running actually I think that is just an extra track and I fixed the Mersey uh, the Metrolink as well because this was wrong so the Metrolink was pulling up to here and just waiting there uh, in some cases so that's fine so let's skip forward a bit so all the earlier trains have left and our first Hadfield should leave right let's just monitor the passenger numbers now for that line because it's been going up a lot and I'm hoping that this will finally clear the issue and then we'll discuss the timetable as well um, in a moment yeah so as you can see nothing's sort of sitting over um, too much we got 280 now waiting for like Holmes Chapel and crew and that so we could increase the crew frequency it would be a bit annoying if we have to but we could try um, I'm not too sure how you actually avoid this though because it seems like no matter what I do it still goes wrong but to be fair with crew we could run now we could extend a cross-country train have a cross-country train to crew for example uh, or an Avanti actually we could have a Pendolino that goes there and only stops at some stops because that would alleviate the number of passengers getting on the train so we can fill up more Sandbach and Holmes Chapel and stuff so I think we'll do that maybe next um, but let me just show you the timetable so we've gone to lines uh, and onto the Hatfield one so we now have five trains a day uh, with one hour 15 so there's the 550, 540, 55, the 610 which is over here don't ask me why 625 and 640 and then back again for the 655 there so that runs that one and then on the gloss up as well we have three trains um, doing that so there's the 625, the 555 and the 725 and then obviously starting again there so this line gets a very frequent service um, they do get a little bit crowded because at the moment, as you see, there is a Hadfield and a Glossop that run basically one station apart. Um, so we may have to put more signals down this line, but they just about stay apart from each other. So we should be okay. It's if they run late, of course. I have to do this extra track at Dinting because um, they have to now reach Dinting and wait. And also have to do two tracks at Glossop. It's just so I can make these trains actually function properly. Uh, otherwise, they were just getting stuck at Dinting and there was like five of them just crowded here and they weren't moving. So, yeah. And of course, I was going to build the line down to Macclesfield for a Marple today, but I think what we'll do first, we'll quickly crack on with putting a, uh, a Vanti service in, and then we'll look at doing that next, maybe, if we have time. So we'll create a new depot line for a Vanti. Now, of course, they also use long sites. So before we do anything, let's expand our long site depot. Now, to do that, what I'm going to have to do is firstly delete the crossover point here, like that, and this one here. There is reason behind that. There is method by my madness here. So we're going to put new track in here. Now I need to turn this off. That This is going to go now to there instead. Uh, control, f is it up or down? Yeah. Control 6. There we go. So you to there. And you to, <coughs> to there. This is just so we can fit in more stuff. And then we're going to put these right next to each other. So it's literally going to be like that. So they can sort of cross over and stuff as they will need to do that and then what we're going to do is we're going to have to redo the entrance to this as well because it's a bit higgledy piggledy
Okay, so I've just done rebuilding alongside. I did originally record it with me talking, but um, that's taken up to half an hour of the recording. So I'm gonna, um, so I'll either time lapse this or cut it out. But basically, we've just rebuilt alongside almost. Um, so I've now got the entrances at the end, which you'll have seen me built. Um, we've got tracks at the back now as well. These two go through, which is deliberate because um, it allows us to reverse on these tracks and then back into these sidings. We'll use more of these later. As you can see, there is, um, unfortunately, there's these here. Um, we've got invisible tracks. Now, the only way to do this platform auto name is just gonna be. Um, that because I don't want trains to use this so we'll just do that for now and then now we know that's just basically there I could have put like a pathway to pretend it's a real pathway but it's fine um, so okay this is being edited recorded after I've done the episode um, but I didn't actually explain what I did with the services when I rebuilt the depot here so um, just to explain as well as rebuilding it if we have a look at the depot runs now so the northerns now use these back tracks here I was going to try and use these ones uh, but unfortunately they wouldn't quite behave so we'll use those for a service in the other direction or something we will use those at some point um, i'll have to probably play around with the middle track here then if we look at the depot run here so the cross country oh uh, i didn't know what to do that but the cross country here is using these two tracks here and then the new avanti one which we are putting in and um, i have already done that obviously um in real life in real time sorry um so this is sort of giving it away but basically we're just gonna use these four tracks here but yeah so they all use the tracks they need. We have uh, four for the Northerns, which is good. We have two for the Cross Country and four for the Avanti, which gives us enough tracks. Again, we'll try and use these somewhere else, and we'll also be able to fit some down here later down the line. But yeah, I thought I'd give you a bit of a brief rundown on that as yeah. well. It's fine. Okay, so now we're going to do our Avanti service. So it's just going to start with a service from Manchester to Crewe, stopping at the Wilmslow. And we're going to stop it at Sandbatch as well, um, just to try and alleviate some passage numbers. Actually, we're going to fit at Sandbatch, well, we know. So just Wilmslow on route. Um, see how that goes. If we need to, we can also extend, expand like Sandbatch or something. Um, so we'll do that. So let's go to um, trains, purchase pre-configured train. No, sorry, lines. Uh, create new line. Oh, I've done a depot line as well, which I've not named. That's fine. So the depot line will be um, AW, which, no, sorry. VT, which is the is still the um, two-letter code for Avanti. They've not changed it from Virgin Trains, but I guess it still works because VT is in Avanti, so I guess it makes sense. Uh, and that'll be Depot. How do we do this again? So it's uh, the name of the depot and where it goes. We're not actually named the cross-country one, so that's a point. This will be LGS to um, or just LGS cross-country. Let's just do that, and then we'll do the same for this. So LGS uh, VT for Avanti. Oh. BT for Avanti. Now this is Avanti service, so it will cost more. So we'll go five, but five P per distance. Now for Avanti's colour, they use an orange, don't they, as the accent colour. But their main colour is that sort of greeny blue. I don't know if I can get that colour. Can I try and copy that off of the interwebs? Uh, Avanti is that public knowledge. Avanti West Coast colours. UK, UK Railway Colours list. Ah, they actually do have it on here. That's interesting. Okay, cool. There's a Wikipedia page of all the public colours. I might copy them all onto here then, actually, in that case. I don't know how you to do that, though. Can I paste that? Oh, that works. Hey, that's cool. So hang on, let me just test that. Because, for example, cross-country, wherever it is. Where's cross-country? be down here, won't it? Um, yeah, XC, there you go. So this is for the, um, the line itself. Paste. There you go. That's actually the cross-country colour, apparently. So what we're going to do for this, then, for the, for the other colour, I'm going to go paste. And then make it a lighter version of it, like that. There we go. So the same for this, so this is the depot run, so copy that and paste that into there. I'll do the northern one in a bit. And for the depot run, we'll just sort of go... Actually, we'll do the orange. Can I get the orange, or is that not possible? Open access. Defunct UK? No. Um, I can't get all their colours, just the Avanti West Coast blue. Let's paste that and... I don't know, just go for an orange. Just for the depot run. It'll be a bit weird, because the depot's run doesn't match the colour, but it's fine. Okay, so this is um, depot run. And, of course, this is a cross uh, Avanti service, so um, we are starting them. How am I doing depot runs again now? I start them at the depot, don't I, still? Yeah. Cool. So, we'll start with platform 9. We'll work backwards on this. We'll probably just do all four, in fact. So, let's just pick secondary platform signal now and just add those on. So, 8, 7, and 6. Because Avanti will use just the same platforms every time, like or the same three platforms like in real life. I will say we're going to use free on this, so... Right, okay, so... Um, let's see, what we got using what? So, the cross-country is using four. Is it using four and five, or four and three? Four, five, and eight. Okay. Because I do want to have, like, 
in theory, I want it to be using potentially five as well. So we could take five off. I guess we could share five between the two lines, but nothing's using three, is it? Are any of these, are any of these using three? This one's not got any secondary platforms. That is a point. I should really get that to have... Give that 13 as well. At uh, 14 as a secondary. Let's just quickly do that because that is... A good, oh, I need to rebuild the tracks here. I keep forgetting about that. <coughs> if I do that, does the line go up here instead? No, it doesn't. I could make it go that way, though. There we go. That just means that it will clear that tr track work a little bit better. And we then have that using 13 and 14. Right, so, back to where we were. Lines, depot line. Where are you? Depot run. There we are. So, you're going to go basic mode again. Add stops to the line. And we want that to be... So, we'll go to f 6 first. And then secondary platform signal is back here. Or there. Oh, pick. There. There we go. I clicked the wrong button. And then secondary platform will be 5 and 7. And then the cross country, we're going to share that with it. So 5 will be shared between cross country and Avanti. So if they both get blocked up, then it might be a small issue, but that's fine. 5 is more. In fact, if we put, I think if we do 5, then 7, I think it prioritizes 7 first, but I'm not too sure on that. Um, <coughs> and this is actually the technical maneuver, so this doesn't need a price, I've just realized. So technical maneuver's good. And that's just non loop. I don't know if that actually makes a difference. We'll leave it as loop. Uh, black hole, wait on platforms. Have I done that right for all of these? Wait on platforms, wait on platforms. Wait on platforms. Wait on platforms, wait on platforms, wait on platforms. Wait on platforms. Good. Um, cool. Right. And that's great. And now we're going to go to the other one. This will be uh, a, a VT, Manchester, Piccadilly to crew. And we'll extend this to Stafford um, when we do the, build that line. And that'll be the next thing I do. So Manchester to crew F for fast. That's five. And then five P on each end. Mind you, what did I do for this? Did I do fast or just Manchester Stoke on Trent? And then I guess that's fine. Yeah, we can just leave it at that, right? Because it doesn't matter if it tells us if the codes are the same, because we know it's different operators. Just passenger service on that. Uh let's get these stops in. So again, six is the main pick secondary platform signal, which is U. And that and that. Cool. And then add stops to the line. So this is going to go to stop. That was it. Stop. What was the other station? Stop. So platform two. And then pick second platform signal as well. Because I don't know if I've done this yet. If I haven't, by the way, I will do that. Oh, I need to put a um, thing on this as well. Because I don't know why um, the game sometimes ignores clearly passing tracks. I don't know if that's a feature they could change. Whether they plan to, I don't know. Um, so that should bring it in on the right track now. Good. Secondary platform. Brilliant. And then we'll just have that go to... Um, why can I pick that? There we go. Oh, oh it's because I'm advanced mode. There. Platform 1. Great. And then next stop will be uh, Wilmslow. Platform 5. And then we can't stop a sandbatch yet. Again, I may add that further down the line. And what we'll do for now, um, so they do pull into one in real life, but we can pull this now into five, into eight. This is five in real life, but I'll have to rename them. I've not renumbered my crew platforms, I didn't realise. And then back up this way, and I'll just check that the tracks of crew look right. It might be changed. Wilms low this way, platform four. And then let's just quickly have a look at crew. Are the tracks all using the right ones? Uh, yep, so off there. And then like that. That seems okay, although it does appear to be... Yeah, it's going down the middle here, which... Feels okay, I think. What are the tracks here? What are the directions here? That's a bit weird, actually. Now, I think what we'll do is, for Wilmslow to crew, let's advance mode that, and let's just have this... Because it's going out the way I want it to, but it's coming in on a different track. Well, maybe we should have it coming on a different track, actually. That's an idea. So, in fact, it'll be this one, won't it? Crew to Wilmslow. Let's have it go out on here. This just could mean that we don't have the Northerns and the Vanti getting in the way too much there, because they could run past each other there, so that's good. And then Wilmslow, and then Stockport. Don't know why those trains are kicking up. I think it's because we've changed the um, depot run, isn't it? So pick secondary platform signal here. Again, that is using the right track now, which is great. Don't know what this is all about here. We might have to adjust that. Um, but maybe we'll just leave it. I don't know. Let's have a quick try and figure out what it's doing. So it's going outwards and then... Okay, why is it doing... It's like going into these... Oh, I guess it's coming from the middle tracks, isn't it? Oh, that's right then. Yeah, that's correct. Okay. But it could just technically... Because I think... Oh, I know why. Because of the way I've laid it out. Okay, that should be fine. 
Okay, and then that's that done. So and then def default timings. So this will be um, custom period of, can it do an hour? Apply. Manually pick stops, and then we want it to wait at crew for a custom wait duration. We need to put a train on it, that's right. Um, so Pendolino pick decal. Vanti. It's going to be 390.001 for now. Do we have a... Um, no, okay, so no one's done like a progress livery for it. That's a shame. I was going to have progress be on our fleet, but it's fine. Oh, it's 11 car, isn't it? 391... I don't know. 121's a 4 car, I know that much. Right, 391.21. There we go. That'll just start it for now. Purchase new trains. Um, orders. Why have you done that? That's weird. Delete. 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 Delete and delete. Okay, so append new order. So this is going to be Manchester to crew first, and we're going to go leave that as it is. Even Monday to Saturday, just to start with, at 0600. Just do that for now. We'll just see what that means. This can do. Can this do it in an hour? Yes, and it waits at crew for just three minutes though, which isn't great. So maybe we need to make it last an hour and a half then. Mind you, I guess three minutes of crew isn't too small, but yeah, let's try an hour and fifteen. Yeah. That's fine. Waits there for 18.28. That's fine. Cool. Trains. Mind you, we could make it wait at Wormsley for a little bit. No, we'll do that. Trains. So then let's change that order now. So we want it to actually start Monday to Friday at... Um, I don't know what the times are off of Piccadilly at the moment. But we're going to do a 4.45 as the first train on a weekday. And then Monday to Friday... Monday to Saturday, sorry. The 5.45. Although this will be the uh, 6 o'clock. No, it won't be the 6 o'clock because it's an hour and 15. Ah, that's the point. We'll just do two hours. It will wait for a while at crew though, that's the problem, but we can make that work. If we go to Wilmslow, um, custom time, make it wait there for five minutes. And again, same on this way, so custom time. Five minutes, good. So it should wait there, yeah, crew for 54. Hmm. Can they, they could officially get over to five, but only just, I think. Yeah, because they can cross over... Hmm, wait, can they? I've not put a way for them to get to 5, have I? Because that is a bi-directional platform, 5. So really, I need a crossover point there, actually. Hang on. I don't think I've put that one anyway, but we'll just put one in for now. So this will be 60. There. We'll just do a double crossover so that it's... Actually, can I just test if this was right before? If I do this... Look at that! That's well clever! You can do that. I didn't know that. And it will put them in the same point. Of course, you have to make them both 60, which is almost impossible, but... Oh no, that works. There we go. Build our blueprints. And then that should be just covered by the signal we already have. I think. Yeah. So you could have a train waiting in this track, really, but... It's it's, it's hard, because in real life you'd have a, a signaler to do all that, so... If we do that... And then we could have it waiting at crew, and we can actually do a secondary platform signal, which of course... They've changed again. Why has it done that? Crew... Wilmslow to crew. It's now suddenly going down that track. And I don't know why. Random. Well, let's just have them both go down here now. I don't know why they've suddenly changed themselves. Where is it? Here. Yeah. Um, advanced mode. Let's just have that go down there, then. There we go. It should be right now. Yep. They don't cross over until they get back up to Sandbatch, where they cross over again. Good. Okay. That's fine. And then... Uh, lines. So... Signal's done. Basic mode. Pick the secondary platform. Why can't I pick a secondary platform now? What the heck? Oh, pick secondary platform signal. Duh. Um, there. And then use five if you need to as well. <coughs> Which is actually five in real life. That one's been numbered, right? Good. Okay. And then we can make that last for two hours. And then these can just be every two hours. So 445. And then the 645. 6, 45, there we go. That can be... Oh, I'm appending again. Whoops. Uh, sorry, 445 there. Append, or well not appending, I was editing. 645, add new. There we go. And then that could be Monday to Saturday. And then on Sundays, the first train will be at uh, 745 on this one. And this will be doing the Sunday service for now. Okay, now the depot runs. So what we'll do, uh, append new order depot run, Monday to Saturday. So let's just see when the trains are going to be feasible to send to the depot. So we've got a 23... I don't know why that's like that. That's a bit weird. 
So if there's the 1845, the 2045, there should be a 2245, which for some reason there isn't. If I make this 20, if I make this at um, midnight 45, Monday to Sunday, will that fix it? I've done it as a pe looping though, so we don't want to do that. And that should be from Manchester to Longsight as well. Change. Why are you doing that? Why are you not running another service? Hmm. Loop until next order. It'll be two hours. But for some reason, it can't. I'll make that 50. Will it do it? Nope. No, 50. Oh, what have I pressed? Pressed the wrong button. 50? Hmm. This is weird, this. Hang on. Just change. Why are you not doing a 22... What if I just do this? 22.45 Monday to Saturday. Change. Not change. Ah, oh, flip heck. Um, 06. 04.45. Change. 06.45 even, sorry. Change. There we go. So there's a 4.45 there. Oh, I know why. <laughs> uh, 4.45... I'm sure at least one person pointed it out to me there. Uh, so that's right, that's right, that's right. There. Aha, perfect, right. Don't know how I managed to do that without noticing. And then on Sundays, so we pen new order, on Sunday the depot run will be at... There's a 21.45, so maybe 23.45. So it's just basically an hour earlier. It finishes. I've done it again. Um, edit orders. Change. Perfect. You're wrong though as well. Why are you doing that? Seven four, you're the seven forty five. Three fifty. There. Weird that it does that sometimes. I think forty six would even let it. No, forty seven. Forty eight. Forty eight. There we go. Perfect. Okay. So that should do. That will do one train. That's two hourly. So we need to do another one. Now what I can do, I think, is I can go onto trains and onto this, and I can just clone it, and then we can edit the the, the services off that. So three ninety one five four. I think that's yeah. That's it for a nine car one for sure. Purchase new trains, orders, and then what we're going to do is we're just going to shift all of these an hour forward, so 5.45, 7.45, and then the depot run will be 22.50 on this one, and then on this we're going to go 8.45 there, and this will be 21 22.48 I think. That should work, yeah, because then that runs normally. That's not worked, though, for some reason. Is that not worked on this, Eve? No, it has worked on this, I think. 22.45 to midnight 42, but then this is going 19.45 to 22.42. Should this be 21.50, then? Oh, maybe, yeah. No, it would be, wouldn't it? 21.50 or 23.50. Yeah, there we go. Why did I do 22? I did that wrong, didn't I? There we go. That's right. Perfect. I'll make this 50 just because the daytime ones are 50, the weekday ones are 50 as well, so we'll just do 50. Just to be satisfying. So 50. Perfect. Change. Perfect. So there's our two Pendolinos. So they should hopefully alleviate some of our passenger numbers now. So let's get those running and see how they go. So in theory, I'm hoping this works. The only thing we can do is increase the size of the trains going to those stations because I think they're still free cars. Okay, so currently Stockport's got a lot of passengers, but then there they go. There you go, look at that. So there's still at least 100 waiting at a time, but it's not going too busy. Hadfield's a very popular station, but we are going to be serving that better in the future. But then there you go, they, they do get off there. They do sort of drop down. But we definitely need more capacity on the services to Sandbatch. So, let me do that between parts. I will work on that off camera now. I will see you guys in the next episode. If you have enjoyed today, please do leave a like and... Whoa, what's going on here? Why are these all running one after the other? What on earth? Late by two and a half hours. Late by 44 minutes. I don't know what happened there. I will address that. I'll look at some of these things off camera. I will see if we can make the crew services. I think they're the ones going to sandbatch and see if they need to run more frequently. Um, basically, I'll address the capacity issues again. And I will see you guys in the next episode. And what I'm going to do as well, um, either between parts, or pretty, I think what we'll do next episode, we are going to build the line from Marple to Macclesfield. Um, so that will be what we're going to do next time. Um, I'm still going to keep this weekly for now because I'm actually starting to enjoy the game again. Um, but yeah, I'm going to see you guys next time. Thank you for watching and goodbye.